Greetings fellow Decepticons, Sandblaster197 here with my first ever LEGO review. This is LEGO Star Wars 75333 Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter. This is based on the 20th anniversary of the Attack of the Clones movie, and is based on Obi-Wan Kenobi's dark red and white Delta 7 Aether Sprite class Jedi Starfighter, as seen in Attack of the Clones in the first couple seasons of the Clone Wars animated series. For minifigures, it includes the Kaminoan scientist Torn Wee with a unique new long neck headpiece and a unique sloped robe leg piece. Attack of the Clones over Mon Kenobi with a dark brown robe and his lightsaber with a metallic silver plastic hilt and a transparent blue blade piece. Quality control may vary on the blade of lightsabers because some of them may have air bubbles in the plastic. And Obi-Wan has a double-sided face and a removable hood that can be replaced with his hairstyle. So, you've got a sort of neutral face without the Starfighter headset and a serious face with the Starfighter headset for when he's flying around and trying to stay in contact with Anakin Skywalker. Then you can just simply pop his hair on instead. And the lightsaber can be stored underneath on a clip inside the Starfighter like so. Then next to this port here on R4P17 here, we have a Lego stud exposed for this retractable communications dish for when R4P17 is trying to relay a message to Coruscant for Obi-Wan Kenobi. Talked about having main contact with Django Fett on Camino. There's also these friction fire stud shooters sticking out of the surface, which can also be easily removed to make it more aerodynamic for mid flight kind of stop motion stuff, if you so choose. And then you can stop motion them back in for when they need to fire. There's also a double ratchet jointed retractable landing foot, like so. And this wedge of it back here can also be removed to make it smoother to fit back in the box for transport. The cockpit canopy opens up like so. And this area here contains a storage compartment for R4P17's astromech droid body because the head is just mounted to a rotating platform to be accurate to the movie. So if I remove this like so, tear our 4 p 17s head off of the Starfighter like so, close up this compartment, and I can attach our 4 p 17s head back into place like so. R4P17's articulation is basically just two Lego Technic pins on the legs for transitioning from standing pose to diagonal, so hovering forward, pretending there's a third leg pose. Unfortunately, Lego have not yet been able to engineer the right kind of piece for a third astronaut droid leg to be attached for this kind of pose. Although they have used CGI to recreate the effect for the video games and animations and so forth. Obi-Wan Kenobi can sit inside the cockpit of his Jedi Starfighter by bending his legs forward and making sure his arms are in the right kind of position to touch the control panels. Then the anti-studs on the backs of his legs will attach to these studs inside the cockpit like so. And then this piece here will be the headrest for his uh, head to, well, rest against, obviously, when he's inside the Starfighter. The cockpit canopy won't quite close all the way if you've got the hood attached, so you'll have to use his hair for when he's actually inside the Starfighter. For size comparison, here is Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter with Lego set 75281, Anakin's Revenge of the Sith Jedi Starfighter. So you can see the difference in size between the Eater 2 Actis Light Interceptor and the Delta 7 Aether Sprite Jedi Starfighter from the two phases of the Clone Wars. 
And also you can see the differences in the way the R4P17 is integrated into Obi-Wan Starfighter compared to R2-D2, who just slots right into a hollow cavity in the set. I've purposely positioned R2-D2's head to one side so he can still be facing forward when he's sliding this way into the, jet, in the yeah, shape of the cavity on Anakin's ship, which I'll cover further in my review next time. So, that concludes my review of LEGO Star Wars 75333 Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter, the Attack of the Clones version. I have been Soundblaster1987. Thank you for watching my first ever LEGO review. Join me again next time when I'll be reviewing 75281 Anakin's Jedi Starfighter from Revenge of the Sith. Till then, till all are one. And may the Force be with you, always.